what's going on y'all so i'm pretty sure all of y'all have heard about you know this sister's comment you know as far as colorism is concerned but before i get off into you know that uh situation or whatever i just want to speak on um the mindset of black people um the the reason that we do the things that we do the reason that we treat each other the way that we treat each other uh, is because we have not rehabilitated ourselves. We have not repatriated ourselves to our original state of consciousness, whether that be Hebrew, Muslim, Moor, whatever you uh, adhere to. Excuse me. Because we have not been able to do those things because we have not been able to rehabilitate ourselves in our original state of consciousness. Um, this is why we do things that we do. Uh, Brother Umar Johnson, Dr. Umar Johnson, says that the reason for black-on-black violence is because of economic castration and uh, poor education. Poor education would be lack of knowledge of self. Um because we have no knowledge of self which is um, who we truly are and economic castration being that uh, we have no financial base for ourselves um, we, we we are always um, what's the word that I'm looking for can't find it right now but because we we don't have um, how do you put a uh, job opportunities? I'll just say job opportunities because we don't have job opportunities. We can't really create job opportunities for ourselves, um, you know, due to certain situations. You know, what I'm saying certain stipulations that uh, and certain requirements that we that we aren't able to meet due to certain um, laws and certain rules that have been set up by society. Um, in order for us not to achieve the goals that we aspire to achieve. Um, but this um, this country um, and I say the white man because that's, you know, who the perpetrator is. Um, laid down the groundwork. Now, many people who have not read the Willie Lynch letter in the making of a slave um, or those who have, you know, and those white persons who have read it will say that, you know, that is fake and it wasn't real. There was no such person as a Willie Lynch. But, you know, even, even if there wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Um, though the groundwork that was laid down by that person in that in that book or in that letter is the same groundwork that was laid by our oppressor. Okay, three hundred to four hundred years in slavery, getting out and not being able to know where you originally came from, not knowing the way that you lived life. You know, not knowing your true religion when you were brought here or if you already were here, whatever you choose to adhere to, whether it's uh, Hebrew, uh, Israelite, uh, Moor, or whatever, whatever you adhere to, coming out of slavery, you had no idea of what you were. There was only a remnant of... Um, idea of what we were. Fast forward to um, today. Okay, the destruction of the Black Panther Party, the uh, the crack epidemic that came in, all of this, uh, all of these things disunited us by us not being united we created defense mechanisms in order to protect ourselves I did a video 
Um, I haven't, um, I haven't uploaded it yet. Um, concerning um, this uh, phenomena called real versus, uh, not real versus real, but real recognizes real. Okay, uh, that is a defense mechanism, um, and. I'm going to upload that right after this so that I don't have to expound on it so much. But there are many defense mechanisms that we created as black people in order to protect ourselves in this white American society. And in this video, I want to speak on the other defense mechanism, which is the um, uh, light skin versus dark skin. Okay. Uh, now, or the the uh, the what do you call it? Uh, I'll say the reaction to uh, the concept of light skin versus dark skin. Now, either during slavery. I want to say during slavery, um, the white man was the one who created the rule that said if you have 1% of black blood, you are considered to be 100% black. And they didn't have to tell us this. This is 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 in our essence. It's in our aura. It's in our genes. It's in everything about us. The, from the lightest shade to the darkest shade of black we have the nature of black people. I hate to use that term because there's so many people who don't like to adhere to black, but just bear with me. You know what I'm talking about. Um, the, the way that we are, you know, um, defines us, okay? Instead of us now... The, the whole concept of light skin versus dark skin, it, it didn't come from us. Because we already knew, you know, we always identified each, with each other as black. You know, no matter what shade we were. Rosa Parks, uh, you know, from Rosa Parks to uh, Carter G. Woodson. You know, all of these, you know, light skinned blacks, you know, there's no question that they're black, you know, um, and their light skin didn't mean anything, you know, to us. You know, this was something that was created. This was something that was created by the Caucasian. This is a weapon that he used to keep us divided. There are many weapons that they use to keep us divided. And this is one, you know that this sister, I'm glad that she spoke on it, that she called it out, that she deals with colorism amongst the black community. And this is something that, you know, has been going on for a while now. And it's something that black people, we as black people, we have to get over. Um, and, you know, we have to look past this whole red bone, yellow bone, you know, we have to cut that out. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's, it's good to have something that you like. You know, it's good to have a preference. You know, something that you're into. But, you know, let that be, you know, for yourself. You don't have to acknowledge that to the world because, you know, let's do, you know, what we can to kind of, you know, that's, that's childish. You know, let me put it like that. That's childish. That's something that boys do. Because when you become a man, you know what I'm saying, when, when you become a man, you realize that it's not about how the woman looks, but more about how the woman, you know, how the woman treats me or my connection with this woman. You see what I'm saying? It, it you know, love, uh, you know, interest, you know, all of that stuff, man. You know, it all has to boil down to, you know, a connection. It has nothing to do with a red bone. You know, love has nothing to do with, you know, skin tone, how fat an ass is, you know, how big some titties is. That, you know, that don't mean anything. So, you know, 
And on the flip side of this whole not being accepted, I'm pretty sure that she's speaking on black women. And it's not just something that the uh, white man created. It's something that the white man created and the black man himself continued to... uh, This is something that the black man, you know, continued to perpetuate. It's something that the black man, you know, you know, continued to, you know, push, you know, because this seemed like a good idea to him. You know, as far as the black man was concerned, anything that the white man likes, I should like. Or anything that the white man says is um, perfect and good, I will consider to be perfect and good. And because of that, because of the black man's weakness, because of the black man's ignorance and stupidity, black women have degraded themselves, uh, demeaned themselves, hurt themselves, have done everything to themselves in order to please us. Now, a lot of black men refuse to see it, but every black woman... I won't say every black woman. A lot of people take that, you know, take certain words literally, you know, but uh, majority of black women, you know, have, you know, created this low self-esteem within themselves. Um, or I wouldn't say created. Their, their self-esteem has been shot by us, you know, because, you know, and then and then it's the, the magazines that are continuously coming out that are saying that this is how a woman should look, and then you have us, black men, saying, you know, through our actions, how a black woman should look. And, and what we expect from black women. All of this to say that this woman is not being accepted or she feels, I guess she feels that she's not being accepted by black women in the black, you know, community because she's light skinned, because she's, you know, the status quo and she's not getting, you know, the, um, the, she's not getting the attention that, um, that she, that I, you know, me personally, that, that I feel that, you know, she should be getting all the respect, you know, that she should be getting as an, as an artist, you know, uh, it, I don't know if you, if any of you have heard her album Aquarius, you know, it's a, it's a very interesting album, you know, um, you can tell that the sister really put in some, some hard work. You know, and um, to compare herself, um, I don't know if they said that she compared herself to Beyonce Nim or, you know, or whatever. Let me see. Uh, see the same article, uh, name check artist, Beyonce, Beyonce. This is why people feel like they should have, they have to pick a side. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't a matter of her, it, she wasn't comparing herself to these women. She was just saying that, you know, why not, why shouldn't women, you know, or or black women, you know, why should they say, you know, this is who I like? Why not just respect all, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Why should it be a matter of picking sides? It shouldn't have to come to a matter of picking sides. Every black female artist should be respected as an artist. And that's how it was. You know, back in um, and and I, and, I, and I think that that's what's going on now with the whole um, uh, what's the sister name? Rod Digger, uh, Remy Ma, Remy Ma and uh, uh, Nicki Minaj or whatever. And you know, Nicki Minaj, you know, so they say, has this whole attitude that she's the only female artist and the most respected and this, that, and third, and blah, 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 you know, without considering other female artists, you know, she, you know, kind of not, she doesn't respect other artists, she feels like she's the only one, so they say, but this is the same thing, kind of, you know, going on with uh, my sister Tanashi or whatever, you know, that, you know, every black female, 
should respect her and you know what I'm saying not look at her color not compare her to you know other female artists or whatever but respect her as her own artist you, you see what I'm saying and that's what we did with Aaliyah you know what I'm saying when Aaliyah came out you know Aaliyah was different from you know majority of the women who was out around that time but Aaliyah was accepted and respected you see what I'm saying? It wasn't because of all Kelly. It wasn't because of all that. It's because the sister was talented and we respected the sister talent. You know, and you know, that's what you know we should do here with this sister, with this sister Tanashi. Or, you know, that's this is what you you black women, you know, should be doing for this sister. You know what I'm saying? Uh if you don't like her, don't like her. You know what I'm saying? But don't like her because she's bright or because she's biracial. You know what I'm saying? That's that's ignorant and and stupid. You see what I'm saying? Like if you hate if if you don't like her because she's bright skinned, that is that is hatred. You know what I'm saying? And that hatred is not on your own accord. That hatred was instilled in you by us black men. You know because we we because we perpetuated what the white man you know created we perpetuated what the white what the white man created and the white man created this status quo saying that Tanashi was the or females like Tanashi was the status quo or that they created the status quo that Tanashi was the it girl or those were the women that we should um, that we as black men should want to be with you know, but, you know, and for, on the behalf of other men, you know, I apologize. You know, I am a brother who has, you know, brought myself into terms, you know, that, you know, it doesn't matter what the woman looks like, you know. Even though I did still end, I still ended up with, a, you know, a Cherokee bone, <laughs> you know, for a wife, you know, I still, you know, if I was single, you know, I wouldn't have the mindset that I had back when I was in high school, you know what I'm saying, or back when I was in uh, middle school or whatever, or with, back when I was a boy, you know, so on the behalf of, you know, all men, you know, I apologize to any of you women who are feeling insecure about the other race of woman uh, but I hope that uh, many of you you know what I'm saying uh, got the understanding of what I was trying to relay the message that I was trying to relay you know uh, this this video is mainly to black women um, it's not me you know what I'm saying uh, you know coming down you know on uh you know, on y'all uh, or anything like that. It was just, you know, me trying to, you know, let you know that this is the origin of, you know, your insecurity. The origin of your insecurity comes from the white man, you know, and and the reason for that insecurities, um, because the, the the reason for that insecurities of um, intenseness, so to speak, um, is because of us. You know, so, you know, be beautiful in your own, your own right. You know, don't, you know, enhance yourself, you know, be beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to attract no men. You know what I'm saying? You know, be beautiful for you. And if you be beautiful you, for you, you'll be beautiful for somebody else. Now, here I am <laughs> giving some advice or whatever. Like, like, you know, like, like the man uh, Neo said, do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, just be mindful. Understand why why you do the things that you do. You know, and as far as, you know, black women, bright women, light-skinned women, this kind of woman, that woman, you know, respect your fellow sister. You know what I'm saying? And as a whole, we as black people should respect each other, love each other. I mean, we can hate each other or whatever, but as long as we, you know what I'm saying, as long as we bang on this beat, as Sarah Sutton said, it says, you know, 
bang on the cracker. You know what I'm saying? Let's not let the white man win. You know, black unity, black pride. Uh, and that's, I guess that's all I have to say. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.